Pitcher Trevor Bauer is reinstated after a two-year suspension and managed to reduce the penalty from 324 games to 194 and could start the season for the Dodgers. Hello Dodgers fans, welcome to another Los Angeles Dodgers news, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to stay on top of the daily Dodgers news, let's go. Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer has won the appeal of his 324 game suspension and could start the 2023 MLB season. USA Today reporter Bob Nightingale shared a statement Thursday from Major League Baseball announcing that referee Martin Skamen reduced Bauer's suspension to 194 games, meaning he has been reinstated. While we believe a longer suspension is warranted, MLB will abide by the neutral referee's decision, which maintains baseball's longest ever active suspension for sexual assault or domestic violence, the statement said. On April 29, Major League Baseball announced a 324-game suspension for Bauer, covering two full seasons. The suspension did not include the games he was unable to play while on administrative leave. ESPN's Jeff Passan noted on a May 2022 episode of the Baseball Tonight podcast that a reduced suspension was the most likely outcome of Bauer's MLB appeal. When you look at a suspension as big as this one, normally big suspensions find some kind of reduction, Passan said. I don't know if it's going to be half a season, I don't know if it's going to be a whole season. But the MLB believes it has a mountain of evidence against Trevor Bauer. Bauer has not been in a game since June 28, 2021. Two days later, Southern California law enforcement officials confirmed they were investigating the right-handed pitcher amid allegations that he assaulted a woman after she contacted police on approximately June 16. May. John Federoff, Bauer's attorney, released a statement on behalf of his client denying the allegations. Mr. Bauer had a brief, fully consensual sexual relationship initiated by, her accuser, from April 2021. We have messages that show, her accuser, repeatedly asking for, raw, sexual encounters. In the days following their second and final encounter, her accuser, shared photos of herself and indicated that she sought medical attention for a concussion. Mr. Bauer responded with concern and confusion, and, his accuser, was not angry. The woman who accused Bauer received a temporary restraining order against him. It was dissolved in August 2021 when Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Diana Gould Saltman denied his request for a permanent restraining order. MLB placed Bauer on administrative leave on July 2, 2021. Since the administrative leave only covers a seven-day period, the league has continued to extend it as its investigation into the allegations continues. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office announced in February that it would not prosecute Bauer. After a thorough review of all available evidence, including the civil restraining order proceedings, witness testimony and physical evidence, people are unable to prove the relevant allegations beyond a reasonable doubt, the office said in a statement. From the DA, Bauer tweeted after the suspension was announced that he was appealing the decision and denied violating MLB's domestic violence and sexual assault policy. On the same day the suspension was announced, Gus Garcia Roberts of the Washington Post reported that a second woman spoke publicly, accusing Bauer of smothering her unconscious without her consent, among other things. In May, John Heyman of the New York Post reported that people within the sport were uncertain whether Bauer would return to play in the MLB. Nobody wants to be around him, one baseball veteran told Heyman. Bauer's contract with the Dodgers will expire after the 2023 season, though Heyman noted that the team can release him now that the outcome of his appeal is known. The 31-year-old signed a three-year, $102 million deal with Los Angeles in February 2021. What did you think of the news? Leave your opinion in the comments, your opinion is very important for the Dodgers, leave your like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to be notified of new Dodgers news, see you later.